Uh, in this video I'm going to show you the custom development management cockpit. So the first thing you do is you go into the CDMC, the transaction is CNV underscore CDMC. I'm going to show you two types of runs. Uh, I'm going to show you first things is a clearing analysis. So while the clearing analysis is firing up, I'll show you in a PowerPoint what the clearing analysis looks like. The clearing analysis, we're going to take some stats from production. We're going to have a look at a development or a test system for the dictionary. And Solution Manager is going to pull together a bunch of information uh, about um, our custom code. Um, so the clearing analysis, these are the steps that I've previously run. Now I'll display the results. We're going to have a look uh, for all the development classes. It'll take a little while. Uh, these are all our development classes. If you're anything like us, uh, Z001 uh, is, is probably uh, used, or maybe ZHR1. Uh, I'll take them all, just, uh, just to make the display uh, a bit more fun. And now we'll wait for the results. Uh, so this is the results. These are all the objects in the system. And if I go into the detail view, these are all the objects in my system with usage statistics. So if I scroll down here, there will be a bunch of information uh, about my object together with the usage count. So if I sort by usage count, now I can get a view uh, of which custom code is run the most in my landscape. So this guy here, ZPPALV15, is run the most. So in that period it's run 54,000 times. Now conversely, I can look for custom code objects which haven't run for a long time. So these might be things which you might consider shutting down or removing. We can also have a look at objects in my production system which don't pass a syntax check. So believe it or not, I've got a number of objects here uh, in the CNET area which um, are failing syntax checks. So, so these, believe it or not, these are in production. Some other things I can show you is um, custom code which has been causing short dumps. So there's uh, three objects uh, which has caused uh, more than one short dump uh, in the system. The other thing uh, I can show you is the tables and how many entries these, these tables have. So if I sort this from the largest, so my largest uh, Z table or my largest customer table is Z ESS leave uh, WI. Now conversely, I can have a look at tables with zero entries. Again, with a view to um, shutting these guys down. Some other things you can look at is the transport frequency. So you can have a look at the objects which change the most in my landscape. So the most the most famous thing in, in uh, my my world for changing is this RPC IQ4. And of course you can have a look at a number of other um, objects. You, you can have a look at um, inactive objects. Uh, you can have a look at uh, duplicated domains and, and any number of other combinations. And of course. You can restrict the object view down to a particular object. So thanks for listening. That's the clearing analysis uh, project within the custom development management cockpit.